Okay, welcome back. This is our video through our last video in the access validation area. We're going to look at in this video validating text strings and validating numeric strings. All right, let's go into our database here and uh, we're going to validate what's in this here text box. We have uh, various validation functions which you can read. We're actually going to look at it, look at each one of these. Uh, you can do your validation. It's particular, particularly uh, well used, pretty useful on a form or uh, in a query, let's say. And uh, we can take what's inside of. We can take what's inside of the uh, the text box here. And and evaluate what's in here. Maybe make the uh, the test for the length of the string. Maybe uh, we can also uh, take this and evaluate what's in a query. We can say uh, the length of a value in a query, or we can test for a certain item in a uh, uh, in a query, or we can take out a certain bit of text and insert it into a table field. Okay, for for our examples here, uh, we're looking at looking at these functions right here. Here, uh, we'll probably return twelve. So There's twelve characters in this string. If we add another one, uh, let's say the string needs to be needs to be uh, fifteen characters. Well, here well, we know that's fifteen characters. If it has fifteen, if it needs to be fifteen, and we only have fourteen, well, then it's going to prompt us say uh, enter another character. If you have an email address, okay, uh, here we have an uh, email address, and say somebody messes it up, they say uh, this at this, and it's going to return true because there are three characters. Please enter a valid email address, okay, because there's no com at the end. And here we have it. This is a valid email address. Okay, the left function. We're going to return the three first characters of the of a string. It's e R I. Okay, here's here's the first three characters of the string. Uh, if you want to test for the end of the string, okay, we have the right function, and we can test a uh, bit of the string at the end. The four character, last four characters. Make sure they're calm. Dot com. Okay, if we have a, a the, with the mid string mid function, we can test for the the beginning point. We're going to test here. We're going to set starting at the the fourth character and the three characters after that. So we have that. Actually, we have one, two, three, four starting here, and they get to be three characters after that. Okay, and then if we want to take out the if somebody comes in here, this is a lot of times okay, somebody will add a bunch of space at the end. Well, uh, you may not want you probably don't want that because it'll mess up your whole program. Uh, so we use this here trim function, take out the spaces. Okay, the text has been cleaned. Now notice that okay, if I'm entering this, I put in these invalid spaces. Somebody may come in here and um, and really messes thing up. Trim takes out the spaces. Takes a bit clean. So what happens is it, it cleans it and it enters it back into this field. And we can say, is this a numeric a piece of text? And it's not. There's nothing numeric about it. The value is not a number. Okay. And but if I change this and make it a number like 33. It returns me a value says the value is a number. Now, if I make 33g, the value is not a number. Okay, and is this a date? Uh, the value is not a date. Okay, uh, this tests for the presence of an understandable date. Uh, if you say, if somebody comes in here and says, Jewel uh, 25th. 2005 with a birth date is the date. The value is the date. Okay, it understands it as a date. If they just put 25 2005, the value is not a date. So let's look at the code behind this. 
Now notice uh, I'm going to put all this code to the blog, vbahowto.com, so you can go out there and look it, look it over, copy it. Uh, you have more time to more time to examine it. Test if a, a past value is understood as a date. We're going to txt email is uh, the value that's in in that text box. Okay, so we have an instant function here. And I ran out of time, folks. Uh, test for the presence of a string, the in string function. Okay, make your own functions. So uh, I hope you get a lot of it. Uh, make sure you check out the blog at vbahowto.com. You can get the code there. Be sure to rate or comment in this video. Be sure to subscribe to this channel as well. Remember to do so. And. Uh, Again, sorry for going so quick. Uh, you can go and look at the uh, the code on the blog, and I'm sure you'll sure get a lot of it. Be sure, and you could ask specific questions if you need to right over there. So thanks for watching, and you have a good rest of the day. Bye.